Today, I'm building an affordable storage solution, which is a great place to keep all your spare blankets, pillows, and clutter in the one place. And it doubles up as a great coffee table too. Perfect. <laughs> to make the box, I'm just using some 17mm ply. It's easy to get your hands on, it's easy to work with, and it's cheap. Now, the overall size of this box is going to be around 850 long, about 450 wide and 400 deep. So there's going to be plenty of room for storage. The first thing I'm going to do is cut everything to size, and I'm using the circular saw to do it. That's all our pieces cut. With these bits, they're going to brace the inside of the box, plus dress up our corners with these external edges. This 12mm ply here, that's for the tray that will sit inside, and then these bits are going to be our main box. So now I can go over all these bits and pre-drill my holes where all my fixings go. I'm ready to start putting the box together, and for that, I'm just going to be gluing and screwing it. Put the sides screwed together. I can now screw the bottom, which will square this whole box up for us. putting these little pine blocks, four of them, one in each corner. And then I'll sit this rail across that will sit on top of our blocks and also get screwed into the side. The main box together, it's now time to start working on the tray that will sit inside. For that, I'm going to lay out all these pieces and then glue and screw the base down. Then I'll flip it over, and the trick here is to use these little brad nails to nail in the sides. That way, we don't end up with a big hole that we need to fill in. Put the nails in, you want to make sure that you pre-drill a hole, that way it makes it easier to knock them in. With the tray together, I'll now sit this aside and start working on the main box again. I'm going to put some corner trims on. That way, we hide these screws and add some feet to the bottom. For the corner pieces, I'll just be using this pine external corner because it covers our screws. To hold it in place, I'll be using some glue and brad nails. To make the feet, I'm using two bits of ply. One 12 mil, one 19, and there's 10 mil difference between them. So when I glue them together, we end up with a nice 10 mil step. I'm pushing it past both edges, which gives you a double step, which will finish this box off nicely. And to hold it in place, I'll just be gluing and screwing it. With everything assembled, we can see how this works. We've got the lid, which will eventually have a hinge on it, and then our tray just simply sits inside. Now, I'm going to go over everything, give it a good sand with some 120 grit sandpaper, and then finish it off with a stain and varnish in a liming white. I like the things you used to do, used to do, used to do. Go back to the place before we did. I wish we didn't have to have this car.
conversation. Why don't you tell me how you feel to my face? How nice is this storage box looking? And now to finish it off, I'm just attaching the lid using a piano hinge. Then I'll put a lid support on, that way this doesn't slam shut. And I'll add some felt feet underneath so you don't scratch the floor. This storage box has heaps of space. It's easy to access and it's definitely built to last. So why not give it a go this weekend and clean up some of that clutter? You don't do what you used to do.